so i friend this is amit and here i am going to discuss about the expected marks versus percentile versus category rank for j mains 2024 for second attempt and first attempt both i will do the comparison and you will get the most important thing that is category rank also for all category i will discuss here so please try to watch the video up to the last that you will get the complete information so let us start with the first thing that is the marks versus percentile and all category general obc ws cst at the last of this video i will discuss the advanced cutoff also category wise how much marks and percentile you need to have to be eligible for the advanced examination so please try to listen my word these are updated data based on the current year trend and also i have considered last five six year trend everything so that you will have the correct information and complete information so that you can Remodify your preparation strategy accordingly. So here is the information. If you want to get 99.9 percentile, then your marks should be 230 slash 250. After slash, it is for second attempt. Before slash, it is for first attempt. And the paper type that I have I have considered is moderate. If the paper will be easy or hard, the marks will change accordingly. 10 to 5 marks you can expect, but you also know most of the shift will be having the moderate paper. That's why I'm considering that and corresponding general rank will be around 1100 obc 300 ews 50 sc5 st5 these are the rank that you will get after the final result of j means after both attempt of examination there will be a rank that will be announced after first attempt they will only give you percentile after second attempt you will get the percentile and rank both so this is the final rank that will be used for the jusa counseling to get you the college so hope you get my point clearly now if you talk about for 99.8 220 and 235 for first and second attempt and uh, rank will be 2.2 thousand for general obc 500 ews 200 sc 25 st 10 these are all category rank for general it is crl and for obc obc category rank ews ews category rank for sc it is sc category rank for st it is st category rank now if you talk about for 99.5 205 and 220 marks is required in first and second attempt respectively and rank you can check sideways for general 5.5 obc 1.4 ews 550 and sc 70 and st 20 rank now if you talk about for 99 175 196 marks that is for 99 percentile and rank will be 11000 3000 1.1 1 .1, 260 and 40 that is for all the category respectively now if you talk about for 98 150 and 170 marks that is for first and second attempt let me repeat it again after slash it is for second attempt that is the marks is for second attempt now if we talk about the rank then 22,000, 5,000, 2.5 thousand 450 and 70 rank these are the category rank respectively now if you talk about for 97 then 135 and 155 marks is required and rank will be 33,000, 8,000, 4,000, 650 and 120 rank that is for general obc ews sc st respectively now if you talk about for uh, 96 percentile then 125 and 140 marks is required and the rank will be 44 11 5.5 900 and 210 rank respectively now if you talk about 95 then 115 and 125 marks these are the moderate paper that i'm considering paper will be hard or easy the marks will change accordingly a little bit that is 5 to 10 marks you can expect but most of the shift will be having moderate paper that's why i'm considering moderate paper now if you talk about for 93 100 and 110 marks are required rank will be 77 19 9.5 1.7 and 550 rank that is for all the category respectively so here i would like to inform you about my complete mentorship and guidance in the next section of the video you will be able to check the detail of that so hi friends, here I will explain you about my complete mentorship and guidance program as I am providing it from last 5-6 years, over 10,000 students already have guided who are studying in top IIT, NIT, IIIT, IIT, IIT College of India. So if you want, you can enroll in my complete mentorship and guidance program for any type of entrance exam if you are doing for engineering. Each day I will be providing to you the daily basis mentorship how you need to study because it each entrance exam you need to prepare differently so if your goal is jmn the advance i will be focusing on that if your goal is all type of entrance exam i will be covering in that way so that you will have the good score in all type of entrance exam so that later you will decide which type of college you need to join hope you get the detail of my complete guidance and mentorship if you want you can contact me there is a nominal charge for that now if you talk about for 90 percentile 80 and 90 marks is required rank will be 1.1 lakh 27000 12000 2.9000 and 900 for uh, 87 percentile 70 and 78 marks are required rank will be 1.43 lakh and that is for general for obc 36000 ews 15000 sc 4000 st 1.4000 for 84 66 and 72 
A marks is required and rank will be around 1.76 lakh for general, 46,000 for OBC, 18,000 for EWS, 6,000 for SC and 2.1,000 for ST. For 80 percentile, 60 and 64 marks is required and SC ST rank will be 9 and 3,000. Other category rank, I don't think it is too much useful, but you can check sidewise that will be used for your state counseling or CSAB counseling because in JOSA you may not get the college at up to this rank for general EWS OBC I am talking about. For 70 percentile, 42 and 45 marks, rank will be 16 and 6000 for SCST respectively. For 65, 34 and 37 marks, for 60, 28 and 32 marks, 55, 25 and 29 marks, for 50, 22 and 26 marks, 45, 18 and 21 marks and for 40 percentile, 14 and 17 marks and the rank you can check sidewise, these are very uh, unwanted rank, no one wants to get uh, so much low rank but if you will uh, fall in those category you may check the rank whatever you will get this will be useful at the time of csb counseling and during your state counseling jack valley counseling jack chandigarh counseling uptu like this you will get the benefit that's why i'm considering now let me discuss about the j advanced car top minimum percentile and marks that you need to have category wise for general a 90 91 percentile marks will be 77 to 89 for obc 73 to 74 that is percentile and marks will be 35 to 50 depending on the paper and also first and second attempt. If you go for first attempt, you can go for the first mark whatever I am discussing that is 77, 35, 40, 25, 22 like this. But if you go for second attempt, you can go for the second marks because in the second attempt competition will increase a little bit. One thing let me clear once again every year I clear but people uh, don't uh, get confused in this thing. Percentile will remain same in first attempt if you get 90 or 91 you are qualified for G advance. If you get in second attempt, you are also qualified. But to get same percentile, you need to score different marks in the first and second attempt because of the difficulty level and also because of the competition level. So hope you get my point. Now, if you talk about ST 43, 44, and SC 51 to 52 percentile and marks 25 to 30, 22 to 25 marks. So these are the complete information regarding the cutoff and marks versus percentile versus category rank. I have discussed everything in detail. Hope you find this information very useful. So please try to subscribe the channel so that you will be getting everything at the right time on the same channel. Thank you.